Thank you, Reverend. No. Oh, come on! 32-bit. He's a great man. Really? And I will miss him so much. And I will not rest until I find his killer. What? Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got a ton of stories, starting with the first nail in 32-bit's coffin, Nvidia embraces AMD, TSMC is moving to the US, the Ryzen 4700G is real, and finally new details on AMD's upcoming 4th gen desktop Ryzen CPUs. But first, a serious thanks to World of Tanks for sponsoring the channel. They're a hugely fun and free to play PC game that lets you command tanks. What more is there to say? And when you register, use the code TANKTASTIC to get a free premium account for 7 days, 500 gold, and the premium T127 Soviet tank. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, it's happened. 32-bit Windows is beginning its road to a slow, painful death. That's right, we knew it was coming, but this hits pretty hard. In a recent support document to OEMs from Microsoft, Windows 10 systems, starting with version 2004, will no longer be offering a 32-bit version. Apparently, you can still buy it via a retail copy, but this is obviously the beginning of the end for 32-bit systems. Of course, chip makers haven't made 32-bit processors in years, but plenty of businesses are still using them. Then again, they're probably not even on Windows 10, but with the end of Windows 7, companies will have to look at upgrading pretty soon. While it was bound to happen, it is still an end of an era. Next up for today, if you didn't see my video on the first and peer-based NVIDIA GPU, make sure to check it out here. If you did, there's one thing you may have noticed I didn't discuss, and that's NVIDIA's newest DGX system. My main focus on that video was the GPU itself, so I decided to add it here. Anyway, it's a beast of a platform that offers up to 8 Tesla A100 accelerators, which means up to 320 gigabytes of HPM 2E memory and a whopping 5 petabytes of performance. Here's the thing though, performance isn't even the biggest news here. Nvidia has actually ditched Intel for their newest DGX system, as it includes a dual AMD Epic Rome 7742. That obviously may not sound like much, but it really shows just how far AMD has come in the server market. They basically went from zero market share to becoming the go-to for Nvidia's monster new system. Let's just say Intel isn't very happy. Next up for today, TSMC has announced plans to build a 5 nanometer fabrication lab in the US starting in 2021 with full production set to begin in 2024. By then, they're promising a capacity of 20,000 wafers a month. The lab is set to be in Arizona and will cost TSMC a whopping $12 billion between 2021 and 2029. That's of course a pretty big deal, because it means we could actually see chips from AMD, Nvidia, as well as Intel with the recent leaks we've seen coming from the US. Besides the more important economic impact this could have, we may start seeing even more leaks. Speaking of leaks, it looks like the recent one I went over on the upcoming Ryzen 4000 desktop APU was correct. If you didn't see it, the APU was benchmarked as the 4700G on Ashes of the Singularity. In the video, I did mention a slight concern, given AMD typically names their APUs with a different number to their CPUs. Well, since then we've gotten a couple new leaks. For starters, Igor's lab leaked this OPN list that shows us AMD is going all out with APUs this time around. Not only will they offer 4, 6, and 8 core processors, but they're separating them into 35 and 65 watts with clocks as high as 4.45 GHz. Talk about impressive. But what about that 4700G? Well, Video Cards has actually gotten a picture of the new chip from one of their sources, and as you can see, it has the same code that was shown on that OPN list. Basically, the upcoming 8 core 16 thread Ryzen 7 4700G is coming, and according to Video Card Source, it shouldn't be long before we see it in store shelves. Of course, remember that Ryzen 4000 APUs are based on Zen 2. It's Zen 3 that 4th gen Ryzen desktop CPUs are made from. Which brings us to today's last story. Ice Universe, who's a leaker that's gotten leaks right numerous times in the past, has posted some new information on AMD's next gen Ryzen processors. That means next-gen Zen 3-based CPUs. Remember that Zen 3 is AMD's processors that, while likely on the same 7 nanometer process, is getting a full architectural rework. 
Anyway, according to a translation by Retired Engineer, and a thanks for letting me use this, you can see he's been discussing 4th Gen Ryzen with two OEM partners, and so far, performance has risen to a quote, alarming level. It'll also quote, utterly beat Intel in both performance and power consumption. I'm assuming he's talking Intel's 10th Gen CPUs here. And things get even better. According to this, AMD is expecting an IPC improvement between 15 and 17 percent, but the actual performance of the sample may even exceed this. Basically, even without much clock increase, AMD's 4th gen Ryzen is set to be a very impressive jump over 3rd gen. And if they're able to up the clocks even just a little, next gen will be a massive upgrade. Well, let's just say I can't wait. So while that does it for today, are you excited for 4th Gen Ryzen or are you hoping Intel can come back with 10 nanometers? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.